Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be creating a text morph animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. So here inside the Fusion page, we are going to start off by dragging in our text. Just type in your first word that you want to use. I'm going to type in text. Let's keep it real simple for now. Here you can change the font weight, font style, color and all that stuff over here. And also I have disabled check underlay so that we can see what you're doing clearly. Let's copy this node, the text node and paste it down below. This will be our second word that we want to morph to. And let's just type in morph over here. If you take a look at this, this is the word we have over here. And the next thing we want to do is we want to add in a dissolve node search for dissolve and connect both these text to this dissolve node take a look at it and we will now animate the dissolve node and just in case if your first word is not the word that you want like for example if it's uh, it says morph instead of text in the dissolve node then all you have to do is right click on the dissolve node and click on swap inputs but since mine is correct so i'm just click on swap inputs again so that my first word says text not morph so now we will animate the background slash foreground property make sure you are at the very first frame which is frame zero and we'll start keyframing it so just act with the keyframe and now we can go to like frame 80 and change the background slash foreground slider so now you'll have an animation like this so uh, after the dissolve we will search for blur and we will animate the blur as well. So let's go to the very first frame and act with the keyframe on blur size. Make sure it is zero there. And then we will go somewhere in the middle. So since our animation on the dissolve is 80 frames long, then we'll go somewhere in the middle, which is 40 frames. And then we will make sure we are on the blur node. Let's increase the blur size like that. You can increase it to any value that you prefer. And then let's go to frame 80 and bring it back to zero. All right, so after the blur, we will add in matte control. And then on the matte control, take a look at it. We want to make sure that we check this box that says post multiply image. And then you can pretty much um, play around with the settings over here. So you can increase the gamma slider and reduce the contract slash expand like so and you know play around with the settings over here i would also add in um after the dissolve i also add in a cc which is color corrector you can just increase the gain amount like so right so you have an animation like this so this is how you create the text morph animation i think it works best if you have the second word which is similar in length and size to your first word so if i Instead of using morph, I use um, something like next. I think it will morph pretty smoothly like so, right? Because it has a uh, same number of or same amount of characters in it. All right, now, uh, if you go to the dissolve node over here, you can see that we have different operations over here. You can cycle through each of them and see what they look like. You'll get some really interesting results. I think I kind of like the last one, SMPTE wipe, and just creates a really cool wipe animation and reveals your text, the morph text. Uh, it will really look cool if you have some distance or gap between your text. So if I just increase the distance between these two text layers, and then you can see that we have uh, this really cool wipe animation um, so you can definitely play around with that as well you can add animations to this uh, you can add follower you can add backgrounds in the shading tab and you know animate it however you want to animate it but yeah, that is basically it that's how you can create this effect i would definitely go into the matte control and play with the sliders over here you know change some settings and see what they are doing and come up with a really nice result. But that is just about it. That's how you can create this simple text morph animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. I hope this was helpful. Really hope it will help you in your upcoming projects. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.